little loud. All right, three, 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 two, three, two, one. What's, What's going, going on, on everyone? Yo? Welcome back to another episode, hey, yo. which is now called Between the Lines. Between the Lines, baby. Um, yeah, me and Eric were just chilling one day. Um, we got recommended that um, by our buddy Brian Ross. Shout out to you, Brian Ross. Love you, um, man. To come up with a name with the podcast. And I came up with Between the Lines because it's like between the lines of music and stuff. We just. And how we, <laughs> how we came about with that name was we were just outside on the balcony and we were just shooting the shit, mm-hmm. talking about. Um, just shit, and we were like, "What? What? What's a a good name that represents us?" I think another. Yeah, well, to add on to that, I uh, I like the idea that if we could drop some gems or any advice or anything for like our viewers, like you guys, or any um, any uh, like artists, like trying to make like grind and create a successful career in music and stuff like that. Um, I hope that if they read between the lines and see, like, the shit that we do and apply it to their own shit, it's like... It can do so wonders. I don't know if that makes sense. It can do wonders. <laughs> and by the way, it's Something just... Something like that, essentially. It's just, yeah, I mean, it's just sharing our journey. Um, I mean, learn from basically our mistakes because we're definitely going to go through that. And I guess we're just in this position where... It's just everything's a learning process and yeah. growth. Swag money. Growth. Anyways, how you doing today, man? I'm good. How's this your day been so got far, me bro? Tripping. Yeah, if you haven't noticed yet, we've <sighs> brought onto the to the set some iced coffees. I drank half of it in like two seconds, and I'm gonna be. I think your boy wired. needs it. That's it. It's so good. I like the uh, K. Almond milk. By the way, super easy to make. And I'll, and <laughs> I'll lay that out for knows. you. Shout out to Mario, uh, my girlfriend, for this recipe. Um, she out. put me on ever since she made it for me. I just couldn't stop drinking nonstop. Anyways, first and foremost, you got your, your cup, whiskey cup. I like the whiskey cup because it makes you, it don't, feel badass. you don't have too much, <laughs> but you just have enough. You know what I mean? Anyways, first and foremost, you put the coffee grounds in there. It has to be instant coffee. Um, if you're a sugar person or you like sweet, put some sugar in there. Don't be a little scared. Anyways, I don't do sugar because I think the almond milk in itself is already sweet enough. Sure. So I put some chocolate almond milk. Or sorry, I, you got to stir that water and that... <laughs> I missed the water component. Okay, I'm do doing you feel a, like a man? Like, I'm doing like a, nice coffee a like very, this, very this. bad, bad job trying to explain the recipe, but all you need is instant coffee, water, chocolate, almond milk, and ice. That's it. Dope. Mix that all together, and then you got your instant iced coffee. Starbucks, sponsor him. <laughs> the past week has been very, very crazy. Very, very busy. In this household, just been honestly no. <laughs> what in your perspective? Already. Because I've seen a lot. In your perspective, what? How did it go out for you, and how did it turn out for you for at least this week? Uh, it's been super busy. Just been focusing on um, making music with my friends and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's been really dope. I've been uh, songwriting a lot and working on my skill in songwriting mm-hmm. by just songwriting. <laughs> Jeez, just practicing and you know. Trying to make as much music as I can. Yeah. No, nah, I mean... Good. It's been busy, but it's been good. It's been chill. Yeah, you guys been um, doing your thing. Mike with his pedals. Yo. Okay, yo. Mike's a, a god at guitar, bro. Like, bro, this Mike's guy has, crazy. has, like, these crazy pedals that you can, like, adjust all these sounds. Like, you can't get on a... No, I mean, you can get it on a computer, but it's not going to be exactly the same as like, right. the shit. That right, right, right. But it's crazy. Yeah. Nah. Shout out to Mike. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Mike. If you don't know, if y'all don't know who Mike is, he's Mike the one is, that did the solo on Angel, and he's gonna be on a few other songs that I'm working on. And really a little more context: Mike is actually Eric's old guitar teacher. Yeah. Okay. So way back when last year, <laughs> um, I was like, "Yo, I've been playing guitar my whole life." Um, 
but I don't really know how to play it. I don't really understand anything. Mm-hmm. I just learn off YouTube. Right. And I was like, yo, I want to apply like actual theory to this. So I went to fucking... Which is a good, a very great decision. At least way, that way it's like I can learn a little bit more and like kind of... Like if I'm going to be doing this, I might as well like know the foundations of this shit. I right? we'll love the way you think. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, fucking... So I went to Long and McQuaid, which is like a music store or a music franchise in Canada. Right. Um, and they do lessons and stuff. And I went in, and Mike was my guitar teacher for the first two months. Killed it. And then I was like, yo, your guitar playing is dope. And he would, like, show me, like, some of the stuff that he was working on. I was like, yo, that was super dope. Um, should definitely get you on a track. And he's like, yeah, dude, that's, I'm that's down. So <laughs> and then we ended up making, well, he made the uh, solo for Angel. And yeah. But yeah, um, like, yo, he's like, oh, man. Mike's super, super chill guy, super, super funny crazy. guy. Um yeah. I can already tell that the vibe uh, definitely um, was there when he came through mm-hmm. with the squad. He connects with Ryan on like another musical level. <laughs> like yeah, I noticed that too. It's like because they're both well, they're both classically trained, so they're like talking major seven fifteen right. 22. Like I, because I hear on some some <laughs> conversations as Lydian well, and, shit. and I'm like, whoa, bro. Yeah, no, I hear an alien, but trust, I love it. trust, and like. I don't even know. They're like, oh, I went here. Ding, 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 ding. And then Ryan's like, oh, what if you go? Ding, 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 ding. I love it. No, <laughs> I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Bro, I've. It's so crazy. Because I've heard some conversations as well. And mm-hmm. I, I find their conversations are very, very interesting because I, I feel like every time they talk, you just learn something. Yeah. New without even being in the conversation itself, which is interesting, especially about music stuff. Like so interesting. They just say shit that I never hear heard before, <laughs> and it's just like wow that you put that and that together. It's like this and that makes that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's just like yo, that's super dope, bro. Thank you for teaching me. Without it's an art. It is, it's and that's what's beautiful about art. it. It's just the creation and how seeing things like being put together in an out in like in an external perspective. Bro, it's magical. It, it it really boosts my energy. Well, you actually tried to rap the other day. Yeah, no. Nah, uh, uh, okay, like, I was just fucking around with the boys, <laughs> spinning some bars. But, but the fact that you tried, it's like, it's like you wanted to, like, it's actually, like, pretty crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. either that or I was just high as hell. <laughs> but. Um, you had flow, though. Like, you have, like, everyone has it in them. yeah. It's like, just a matter of honestly, I just do that for fun. Like you're actually pretty good. Though. I just do that for fun. It's just I I think it's just a way of just releasing um external emotions and it's just like sure. storytelling I find very, very interesting and, and something that um like I'm I'm dabbling in a little bit. Which I've been noticing that you do in like comedic ways instead. Right. I love <laughs> that. And I think it's just a funny yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's really I think just everything just plays part and if you fucking take like three steps ahead. Sure. Everything just gets crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yo, okay, so um, on Instagram, we asked a bunch of, <laughs> so that's yes. such a terrible yeah. switch. <laughs> no, no, that's okay, all, okay. no, anyways, yeah. Anyways, anyways, okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, y'all? We got a bunch of people to ask us some questions on Instagram. So I was um, like, what's going on, y'all? Like, we didn't start the goddamn <laughs> podcast. <laughs> that's a reset there. Okay. It's all good, you got this. Um, all right, so we got some questions from a bunch of our friends and friends and homies. Yeah, yeah. And we go answer them for you today. Let's do it, baby. Let's, Let's do get it. it. Do you have any from yours? Or do you want to? Let me see. You can just go one at a time. Sure. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. What message? Oh, what message? Okay, wait. Brendan Tep. Brandy. Brandy, bro. Okay. Brandy says, what message would you like to push through your music? Why did I read it like I don't want to read it? That's a good question. Um, I would say that I essentially want my music to, I guess, make the listener feel like they're not alone. 
in terms of how they feel and the experience that they're experiencing, if that makes sense. Right. Like, I guess my, what I write about is just experiences or my own perception of these experiences in my own scenarios. And um, I put out, you know, yeah, the feelings that I feel and how I interpret it. And then if someone else connects with that on their own journey, it makes me feel, I guess, I hope it makes them feel more connected that they're not alone. Right. If that makes sense. If so, if that little, if that little boy that grew up the way you did is in a tough, tough position, like for me, I don't know about you, but it's not just, it's not just sadness stuff, <laughs> like, right, but, right. but like, even like, even like, even like when it comes like, like just anything like love, right. You know, hardship, you know, just the journey of life. Right. Shit. Yeah. You know, well, uh, uh, storytelling stuff that I know, like from my own life, you know, exactly. Everyone's different. Everyone has their own story. So I'm just, I guess, writing down how I perceive things and turning it into a song. Dope. I love but, that. Yeah. All right. Next question. Oh, fuck. Anyways. Okay. I got it. Okay. We can both answer, answer this because I think we both have, it could be similar. It could be differences, but. Sure. Um, first off, the question is, how do you define success? You can go ahead. I'll okay. go ahead. Sure. So to me, I think that's that's an interesting, interesting topic. Um, I think for the majority of the people out there, or at least that I've talked to, um, determine success when it comes to finance or financials. You know what I mean? And to be honest, that's the way I thought too before. Um, I thought that in like being successful is it having this amount in your bank account. Um, and then I realized that what the hell, that's not the case. It's like, okay, you hit that amount and then, and then what now? It's like, I don't think to honestly that finance to me is being like having successful. a lot of money and stuff. Right, yeah. right. And I think... I, I think it's good that that a lot of people are realizing that now. Right. Like, but I guess, well, because of the internet and because right. of, like, people that are super rich and shit, like, telling people that, yo, it's, money isn't happiness. It really isn't. It and, isn't. And, um, it, and honestly, it's like, to me, success is being happy or that finding that facts. joy in life, understanding your purpose here in life. That's what success is to me. How about you, bro? I mean, I definitely feel the same way. I feel like, I guess, freedom in terms of what you want to do, like doing some, doing what you want to do and not being tethered right, um, is success to me. Right. So if I can, I mean, obviously, like, if you can, for example, be financially free making music, I'm pretty sure, like, 99.9% .9 of all musicians just want that. Exactly. You know? um, but, I but mean... To be honest, starting off, that's not necessarily the case. Yeah. And I think and ultimately, as long as you just focus on, at the end of the day, if you just focus on your passion and you focus on just creating good music and music that you fuck with that other people would fuck with. Right. That's and you, really and you love the fucking process. And you love the process. And like bro. you're doing it yeah. because you love it. The money will come. Eventually. In time. It always does. If you grind long enough. That was a dope question. Thank you for asking that. Next. All right. Singing 24-7. Dennis, what's going on? Thanks for the love. What's Which going on, Dennis? song that you put out? Oh, my God. I can't even read. Which song that you put out already took the longest to write, and why do you think so? Mm. Um, hmm. I would say... Okay, in terms of longest to write, uh, Summer Autumn was one of my like first, not my first song, but it was like one of my first like three or four songs that I ever wrote, I think. Right. Um, and I put it, or I sang like the melody off the YouTube beat mm -hmm. um, on my phone 
like in the uh, in the memos, and then I forgot about it, like for like I think pretty sure it was like months. Right. And I remember like later on going back because like I felt like a little creative like jump to fucking want to write. So then yeah. I was looking through my uh, my notes and shit, and then I found I was like, oh, this is dope. Um, but then I had to kind of build from that. So I guess two or three months. But then like from there, I guess. I don't know. I mean, like, it kind of, like, well, with Summer Autumn, too, it's, like, once I actually jumped into it, it kind of flowed out because it was, like, it was just really, I felt like it came naturally. Yeah. Um, but I guess that's in terms of, like, the longest amount of time. But Well, I think yeah. that makes sense, being yeah. your first single that you released. Not one. my first single single. Oh, obviously but, like, not like, the your... longest it took yeah, to, don't... to make. Or, no, I guess to come to fruition. But Soleil uh, took a long time because, like, we... <laughs> Brian would come over every week, like one, like once or twice a week, and uh, we try to like fix shit. But I mm-hmm. guess we were just like we were just jumping in the water, so we didn't really know what we were doing. Right. So it took a lot of like honing down, right, to right. figure out like what we liked and like breaking down every single fucking drum, <laughs> fucking finding the different sounds, fucking trying out different patterns and shit. And we're like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, bro. Lots of trial and error, but yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, me? Yeah, yeah. Go for it. I got you. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis, for Thank that. Thank you, Brandy. For, for that question. Me. All right. Let me let me ask this question right here. Sure. All right. How, how do you manage stress? Oh, geez. <laughs> like, so, okay, so, like, yeah, so how do you how do you manage stress, bro? How do you man- how do you manage stress? <laughs> this guy's <laughs> bouncing it back at me when I'm asking him the question. Oh, uh, fuck. I I'm st- it's still a work in progress for me to be honest. Right. Um I mean, I've learned positive ways on how to deal with stress and yeah. obviously like the what you know, like what therapists tell you and what like what is good for you is to work out mm-hmm. or at least get some like fresh air and mm-hmm. um I guess ground yourself, if that makes sense. Right. Um, just to kind of bring yourself back to reality when you're thinking of like too much far ahead or mm-hmm. behind or whatever, like back in time. Um, but I mean, like I still deal with like the negative ways. Like sometimes I'll, I'll eat a lot. Right. But that's something that I'm controlling now. Right. So like. For me, it's like, like you said it already, I think, um, a lot has to do with um, working out. I yeah. th- I find that, well, because the gym's closed, like it's been difficult. But I find that working. We've been grinding though. <laughs> been I grinding. find that working out yeah. is at the the start of my morning allows me to get the brain flowing. That and just release all the. I don't know. It just in me. It feels like it releases something, and then it just makes me. <laughs> just go and have that fulfill that energy and just it's that start of the momentum exactly once you get yourself like this is like literally what one of my therapists told me she's like if you just get up and go for a walk right that'll like it's so hard to just get up right but once you actually do it's so much easier to go throughout your day also i think kicking it with the boys as well i think that was that's huge as well Um, spending time in good company in like Honestly, a good environment, a really, environment. um, just shooting the shit, talking about shit, and just enjoying each other's company, yeah. I think what is huge and a very very great stress reliever. I've realized. Yeah. So. Facts. Thank you for the question. Yeah, thank you. All right, I'll try to speed through these ones so we sure. can answer everything. Let's do a. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Eliza. Uh, Eliza Leoncio. Asks, thank What's you for going asking, on? what inspired you to sing? Um, there's a bunch of things. Um, my dad was a really, really good R&B singer. Right. By that, like, he would just sing in the car. <laughs> yeah. And, like, when I was a kid, like, yeah, I think I've yeah. told that before, but, um, yeah, my dad would sing in the car every time he would pick me up for the weekends and mm-hmm. stuff, and I was like, yo, this guy can sing, when I was, like, five. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah, I, I, I remember that as a kid, sorry. Yeah, no, your dad would always sing the, the like, boys to men, 
and like go off in the car. And I was like, whoa, what the hell? That's that's actually sick as hell. And, and if you talk during it, he'd restart the song to <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like to be honest, like I feel like you're like thinking about it now, I feel like your dad was the one that actually got me into that. Like really? boys to men. Really? I yeah, because I heard I heard him go off and I was like, yo, this this these tracks are actually <laughs> crazy. <laughs> And well, you the, listen to like you listen to like uh, what's it called? Like old school, old school, music. old school yeah, yeah. Uh, R and B. Fucking like the golden era, two thousands. Um, Usher, Neo, like yeah, yeah. that, like the, the, bro. Those were that was my shit. Boys to Men, holy fuck, that's crazy. It went. But you like, listen to older shit too, like older than that. Fucking like. It go bro. Jeez, air supply, ABBA. That's my shit, yo. I love air supply. I love. I don't he know. Plays it there's like just at something least three times a day. There's just something about it that that just gets you going. Um, if you haven't listened to them, I really do recommend you just play Definitely play a track or two, and you'll just vibe the Bee Gees? out. Ooh. It's super old Journey? school, but like it's su- it's so dope. Yeah, I like. Um, I'm done with questions, so let's 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 bounce through yours. Hold on. Um, okay. Any plans on merch coming out soon? By Andrea Lopez. What's going on? <laughs> Love ya. Ooh, that's a dope, dope question, Andrea. <laughs> We're staring at the bag of shirts that we have under a table, like right. Now. <laughs> Thank you for asking that question, but it's still a work in progress. But it's coming out soon. We're just working on some like designs and trying to find something that would be super sick for everyone i think yeah i i think it's super exciting it's a super exciting topic i just don't want to give too much away but like yeah. work in progress but you guys we'll will see and you guys stuff. will know yeah eventually we're working on it but yeah we're working we're working, work on in it. progress but it's coming it's coming real thank you for real soon um, real real soon love you uh let's see shadell asks Shout out to Shadell. Shout out Shadell if Love you guys ya. don't know her. She did the singing for uh, Soleil. So make sure you go follow her. Go follow her at um, Fluorescent If you were Chanel. stranded on, an, uh, on a desert island, three things you would wish for. Ooh, that's deep. If I was stranded that? in a oh, yeah, deserted island? A, <laughs> <laughs> a deserted island, yeah. She put dessert like as in like food. It's all Anyways, good. um, what would, what, hmm? what would, Wait, what, what, bleh, fuck. what would, three things that you would wish for? Okay, that's a good question. First off, a boat so I can get the <laughs> fuck out of there. If you can't do a boat, you can't do a boat. Like you have to live there. Oh, oh I have to live there. Okay, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, three things that I would wish for: Amazon Prime. <laughs> that's dope. You can't lie. That's a good idea. <laughs> you can't lie. Amazon Prime for one because at that point I can just order whatever the fuck I want. Uber Eats. It's <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> <laughs> gonna fly by I'm on the boat. Dead. Um, all right. Uber Eats. How are you gonna make money to pay for all that shit? <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then money, okay. dude. That's all you need. Or Bitcoin. <laughs> Not Bitcoin. sponsored by Amazon Prime. All right. Actually, no. I I take that back. A knife. Why? Just in case. Um. Any like lion animals. mountains. Lion mountains. Lion okay. Mount- <laughs> lion mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mountain lions. I'm right. gonna <laughs> get dead. <laughs> mountains be scary, man. I love mountains it. be scary. Thanks for the okay. cash, bro. Um. Okay. Last question. Wait, you didn't answer. What? You didn't answer. Oh, for me. Uh, uh, I would say I would wish for... Fuck, that's actually hard. I don't even know. Okay, I wish for unlimited food supply. If Does that count? Is yeah, that way I, I don't... Of course. I think that's number one Yeah. instead of Amazon I'd Prime. I wish for internet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess well i mean like if you're gonna live there I like, guess. You, like if you have the internet you have the power to yeah that's good because you can make point. a fucking house you that's can learn how point. to you can learn how to make a fucking house on an island that's and live point. your life comfortably you right. can learn how to fish and you can use uber eats and <laughs> and amazon prime i mean i don't know if they'll reach that location right 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 you right. have to pay a pretty, uh, pretty big tip but 
true. Um, and Last then I'd one. probably wish for. I don't know. Would that be bad to wish for people to be on the island so that I'm not alone? <laughs> I mean, during these times, yeah, it's COVID, bro. I guess. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe, Maybe. I wish for like. <laughs> I don't know. That just went so deep. I'd wish for more wishes so that way. Ooh, I that's I no, sick. That's I can't lie. That's, that's sick. Anyways. Anyways, fucking. Was there any more questions? Yeah, there's one more question. Okay. Let's do one more question. What Let's is your favorite genre of music? I love all music. I think, all, well, I mean, like, I love all music, mm-hmm. but then I guess, like, I specifically like alternative r and I've had my, like, I've had my fair share of everything else, like. Right. Alternative rock. Fucking yeah. old school shit. I think for me, I'm just trying to um, appreciate more genres um, and just really listen to the art and understand it a little bit more. And just... And the storytelling. Exactly. Of the songwriting. I think if you look at music in that perspective, shit just gets way interesting. Yeah, facts. Way interesting. Big facts. I mean, that was a golden line to drop at the end after a fucking disaster <laughs> podcast thank you guys for tuning in through that and pushing through if you reached it this far uh no honestly we really appreciate it thank like, you for sticking around like yeah we tried sticking through yeah, tried make, being real as possible yeah. um again thank you guys for showing love on everything i making, love y'all thank you so much for watching wait making it two episode Sorry, season two is out now. If you haven't watched season two, it, season two making it work. Watch it now. How that's gonna how that's gonna play out is that we're gonna release an episode every other week, and then in between those weeks, we're gonna be doing um, other things that you guys have to stay tuned for. Dope. And new music coming soon. Very, very, very soon. soon. Very soon, and we're it's really super hard. exciting. Like I can't wait for everyone to hear it. I think it's super dope. It's gonna be great. We may or may not leak it at future All podcasts, right. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. You guys right. have to find out. There you go. Anyways, okay. thank you guys for coming through. Love As always, I'm Mark. I'm Eric. Ryan. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Between the Lines. Swipe. Later. Uh-huh.